Fillets and chamfers are used to soften edges. This can be useful for a number of reasons, but most commonly we remove or try to soften all sharp edges. For one, to reduce injury when our parts are handled. But in addition to this, we also find that we have high stress concentrations whenever we find a sharp edge. So removing these sharp edges with fillets or chamfers can help us to remove high stress concentration points. Therefore, our part will be less likely to break or fracture at these points. Finally, in a lot of industrial design, we just use fillets or chamfers for aesthetics reasons, as these will generally look a little bit more clean or natural. Fillets are usually preferred by product designers as they're aesthetically more pleasing and do a better job at releasing the stress concentration as well. However, there's a bit of a trade-off as fillets are generally slightly more difficult to manufacture and more costly to manufacture as well. To create this new design, I started off with just a simple sketch such as this. Now notice I have three different closed sketches here. So my bottom portion, my top portion, and what's going to be my hole as well. So what I can do is I can extrude this. So first I'll just jump into a 3D view. And I want to extrude maybe the bottom portion and the top portion, but probably not the whole. So I'll just select these two portions and then drag to extrude. Maybe I'll give a total length of, let's say, 150 millimeters. Then, once I'm happy with that, I also want to cut away a portion of the vertical component of this design. So I can use actually that same sketch, or just this face here, and pull to cut that material away. Now we can see very quickly and easily I've created this new bracket design. So to apply a fillet or a chamfer is a very simple process. I can just tap to select any edge and then just drag to push or pull on that edge to add my fillet or my chamfer. Notice depending on the direction that I'm pushing or pulling or on the actual numerical value being a positive or a negative this will change from being a fillet or a chamfer. So if I want a chamfer just throw in a negative value, let's say negative 20. And I can see a chamfer of 20 has been applied here. And just in the same way, I can undo that. And if I give a value of 20 millimeters, or if I pull in the other direction, that will give me my fillet of 20 millimeters. Notice I have a whole bunch of fillet and chamfer options to make this process faster as well. So instead of just clicking every single edge individually, I can multi-select a number of edges all at once. So all my external edges here. I'll select all three. And notice I can chamfer and fillet each of these edges at once. Another great time-saving tool when using fillets and chamfers is any line that is tangent. So we can see right now that this line or edge is tangent with this edge and this edge and so on. So if I were to apply a fillet or a chamfer to these edges, it should try to apply along the tangent edges as well. 
So notice I can throw a fillet on all of these tangent edges all in one command. In a similar manner, if I were to grab a entire face, such as this top face, and now if I were trying to push or pull on any edge of that face, Notice it applies a fillet or a chamfer to all of the edges that are touching that face. And maybe I'll throw in a value of 10 for this fillet. So see, very quickly, without having to grab every single edge, I have applied a whole number of fillets all in, again, one step. In the next lesson, we'll learn direct editing, which can be very useful in making changes or edits to our existing designs.